Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angel Leah Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering. Keep yourself happy. Smile. I am worthy. We are calling the Osho Zen Tarot as well as asking for supporting messages through the Ask Your Guides Oracle as offered by Sonia Choquette. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you'd like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth. We are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. The Ask Your Guides Oracle. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth. We are ready and willing to understand and so it is the Osho Zen Tarot offers in the position of keep yourself happy we have the king of water No. Yes. <laughs> the commentary offered. It is a time when the deeply buried wounds of the past are coming to the surface, ready and available to be healed. The figure in this card is naked, vulnerable, open to the loving touch of existence. The aura around his body is full of light and the quality of relaxation, caring, and love that surrounds him is dissolving his struggle and suffering. Lotuses of light appear on his physical body and around the subtle energy bodies that healers say surround each of us. In each of these subtle layers appears a healing crystal or pattern. When we are under the healing influence of the king of water, we are no longer hiding from ourselves or others. In this attitude of openness and acceptance, we can be healed and help others also to be healthy and whole. The Ask Your Guides Oracle offers in support. Number 10, Family, Holy Spirit. Security, Elation, Peace, Family, Harmony. The Holy Spirit is touching your soul bringing about a deeper sense of peace and security. The challenges of the recent past are met and you've survived. Due to the Holy Spirit's influence, your trials have only strengthened your capacity to love, 
leaving you with an even deeper appreciation of those you love. The Holy Spirit particularly shines on your family and home as it heeds your prayers and oversees overall well-being at this time. There's no need to fret over your parents' health, your children's safety, or your siblings' happiness. All is well. Ask the Holy Spirit to expand your capacity to move beyond personal love and include all of humanity in your prayer for peace. Entreat the Holy Spirit to brighten your aura and allow others to see you as a source of contentment. The Holy Spirit's message, Peace be with you. In the position of smile, the Osho Zen Tarot offers the seven of the major arcana, awareness. The veil of illusion, or maya, that has been keeping you from perceiving reality as it is, is starting to burn away. The fire is not the heated fire of passion, but the cool flame of awareness. As it burns the veil, the face of a very delicate and childlike Buddha becomes visible. Awareness that is growing in you now is not the result of any conscious doing, nor do you need to struggle to make something happen. Any sense you might have had that your groping in the dark is dissolving now, or will be dissolving soon. Let yourself settle, and remember that deep inside you are just a witness, eternally silent, aware, and unchanged. A channel is now opening from the circumference of activity to that center of witnessing. It will help you to become detached, and a new awareness will lift the veil from your eyes. In support, the Ask Your Guides Oracle offer number 29, Despair, Nature Spirits. Despondency, desperation, torment, apprehension. Whether you call it a bad mood, a bad day, or even a bad life, a feeling of complete desolation and despair has you in its grips. All seems bleak. This isn't to suggest that your feelings of hopelessness are without cause. Genuinely difficult situations may be causing true anxiety, but it's more likely that your fears are exaggerating things way out of proportion. Fortunately, your nature spirits are on hand, luring you out of your inner despair and rerouting your attention back to nature. They urge you to stop dwelling on the problems for the time being and go outside. Breathe the air, smell the grass, take a walk, notice the wind. Come back to earth back to the moment, back to the beauty and bounty your Divine Mother offers. If you're feeling trapped in an emotional maze of fear and drama, your only way back to balance and clarity is to get grounded in the moment and return to the natural world. Let your nature spirits lead you to Mother Earth as she will calm and comfort your soul. The message for you, get back to nature. I am worthy. The Osho Zen Tarot offers 
the nine of rainbows, ripeness. The commentary offered, when the fruit is ripe, it drops from the tree by itself. One moment it hangs by a thread from the branches of the tree bursting with juice. The next moment it falls, not because it has been forced to fall or has made the effort to jump, but because the tree has recognized its ripeness and simply let it go. When this card appears, it indicates that you are ready to share your inner riches, your juice. All you need to do is relax right where you are and be willing for it to happen. This sharing of yourself, this expression of your creativity can come in many ways, in your work, your relationships, your everyday life experiences. No special preparation or effort on your part is required. It is simply the right time. And in support, the Ask Your Guides Oracle offer Shadow number 25 with Divine Helpers Anger, Vengeance, Violation, Spite Although no one likes to admit it, we all have our dark sides and shadows, those less than flattering facets of our personality that take delight in abusing and shaming others and wielding power in the most unfair ways. Whether it's the condescending remark to the slow-moving grocery bagger at the supermarket, the aggressive hand gesture directed towards the meandering driver on the road, or the belittling comment made to your uncooperative child. Many of us are guilty of hurting or deriding others at times. Your divine helpers, healers, are present now to help you witness your shadow, lovingly make you aware that it's actually contempt for yourself and your vulnerability that fuels such hostility toward others. These gentle but higher powerful forces surround you in love and urge you to accept and embrace your weaker aspects rather than harshly rejecting yourself by attacking those aspects in others. Ease up. Be more tolerant of yourself. If you do so, these shadows will give way to light and healing. Your Divine Healer's Message Ask for help and accept our light. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for allowing me to bring these messages into your journey. I ask that they serve you in your awareness, that they offer a reminder of the love that is felt for you throughout this entire universe, the entirety of the cosmos. Be well. Know you are loved. I will join you tomorrow.